if you're coming from an object-oriented language such as Java or C Sharp, or just learned about interfaces and abstract classes and wonder where those are in Python, this video is for you. In this video, you're going to learn how to use interfaces and abstract classes in Python using Python's ABC module. But first, if you're new here, my name is Cons and I make videos on programming, computer science and everything in between. And if that sounds like your cup of tea, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my other video after this video where I talk about Python decorators, which will also come into play in this video. Before we dive into the Python code, let's first talk about what an interface and an abstract class in an object-oriented language actually is. An interface, in general terms, defines the inputs and outputs of a thing. So let's take, for example, a water kettle. Sorry, my American friends, but I'm actually quite the enjoyer of some tea. So an interface for a water kettle would be an inlet for cold water, a button to start boiling the water, and an outlet for the boiled water. However, each water kettle manufacturer will implement those inputs and outputs differently. Some have a large lid on the top to pour in cold water and some have just a small opening. While others have the button to start boiling the water on the top, others will have the button on the bottom. So the important thing to take away from interfaces is that they only define the inputs and outputs of a thing and don't specify the implementation of it. In contrast to interfaces, Abstract classes not only define the inputs and outputs of a thing, they also provide an implementation. So going back to the water kettle example, an abstract class for water kettles could provide an implementation on how the water is boiled. Regular classes can then inherit from the abstract class to implement the boiling water method themselves. Generally, abstract classes and interfaces cannot be instantiated on their own in most object-oriented languages. You always need a regular class that inherits from an abstract class or implements an interface to use them. Now that we know what interfaces and abstract classes are, let's talk about why Python, which has many object-oriented features, does not come with interfaces and abstract classes by default. In compiled languages such as C++, the compiler turns the code you write into machine instructions. And at the time of compilation, the compiler checks if the arguments you pass to a function are actually of the correct type and can be used inside the function. This allows for very efficient execution at runtime because nothing has to be checked and all the pieces fit together nicely. Python, on the other hand, is an interpreted language, which uses a concept called late binding. So when you run your Python code, the interpreter loads all the code but doesn't do any checks. Only when you execute a line of code it is checked if the number of arguments is actually correct, but there are no type checks involved. So in contrast to strictly typed languages such as C Sharp, C++ or Java, Python doesn't care about types and uses a concept called duck typing. And let's have a look at what duck typing is. Here we have two classes, one is called duck and has the method quack, and one is called cat and has the method meow. Both will just print on the command line just for instructional purposes. Down here, we have a function that is called make it quack, which will call the quack function on a duck object we pass as an argument. However, there is a global counter and every time we call the make it quack function, the counter is increased by one. And if the counter is zero, we won't call the quack method of the duck object we have just passed. So if we call this make it quack method and pass a cat for the first time, there won't be an issue. So let's do that. Let's call make it quack with the cat object and then run our code on the command line, Python duck typing, and we see we just instantiate cat, cat meows, and we call make it quack, but nothing happens because the counter is zero. However, if we call make it quack a second time, we will get an error because this time the dot quack method is actually called on the object we have passed into make it quack. And we can see that down here, the Python interpreter checks at the time of execution if the method we call is called correctly or even exists. So down here we can see make it quack throws an error because duck.quack does not exist for the cat object. What the Python interpreter does here is the so-called duck test, 
which states if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. And we can disguise our cat as a duck the first time we use make it quack because we never asked the question if it quacks like a duck. The second time we do that, our cat can't quack because it can only meow, the test fails. We can even perform the duck test ourselves by using the deer function of Python, so print deer cat, and we can see that returns a list of all the attributes and methods the cat object possesses. By the way, if you are a new Python programmer or already a seasoned Python expert and would like to pick up some cool cheat sheets, check out my Gumball shop down below in the description where you can pick up cool cheat sheets as a PNG for free or as a printable PDF for just 5 euros. So don't hesitate and get your Python cheat sheets. Now that we know how the Python interpreter uses the duck test internally, we can start writing abstract classes and interfaces in Python. To implement an abstract class in Python, we first have to import the abstract base class from the ABC module of Python. So we enter from ABC import ABC, and then we're going to define an abstract base class for animals. So we enter class animal abc, which gets a constructor, which only takes self and name, and we're going to store self name in name. And it also gets one additional method, which is called walk. So we define walk, which prints out that the name of the animal and also that the animal is walking. Using this abstract base class, we can now implement a more specialized class, which uses the walk method of the abstract base class. So let us define a class dog, which inherits from animal, also has a constructor, which takes self and name, and calls the constructor of the super class, which is animal. But a dog has the special ability of wagging its tail. So we enter dev wag tail, which prints the name of the dog and that the dog is actually wagging its tail. Down here, we can now instantiate our dog. We call it Pluto dog Pluto. Pluto con can in fact walk and Pluto can wag its tail. So when we run that code over here, we can see Pluto is walking and Pluto is wagging its tail. Now let's give our animals the ability to talk. And because every animal talks differently, we have to implement it as an interface. And for that, we're going to define a new class, which is called talking. Class talking, which also inherits from ABC and has only one method, which is called talk which takes self and doesn't have an implementation. And in order to make this a correct interface in Python, we have to use a decorator for our function. And we first have to import that decorator abstract method and then use the decorator down here with add abstract method. And using this decorator actually forbids us from instantiating the talking interface. So down here we can try enter t equals talking and then run this code, we can see talking can't be instantiated because it has an abstract method talk. So we cannot instantiate talking on itself, but we can create a class called talking dog, which inherits from dog and talking. So we implement a constructor as before with self and name and call super in it name and then we have to implement the talk method def talk self print self name is barking but our dog is a little bit more sophisticated than barking let's say it says hello and down here we can now instantiate a talking dog object we call it goofy talking dog goofy goofy can walk goofy can wag its tail and goofy can talk try that out and we can see our talking dog has the ability to talk. I'd say this ending was kind of dorky. <laughs> In this video, you have learned what interfaces, abstract classes, and duck typing is, and how to implement it in Python. 
If you made it so far in the video, let me know down below in the comments by commenting with a computer emoji and check out my other videos on this channel. I wish you a pleasant day and hope to see you soon.